Yeah, he on X Games mode. What the hell is even that? Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to one of my videos. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna be checking out the Wars Gravity Warzone 5000 watt Brazilian style amplifier. So basically, I've been ever since my Tempano. Uh, 3k blue you can check out the other video if you want to find out how I Was on the market for an upgrade, right because I just got my um, 320 amp alternator I Have to install this that before I install this But yeah, honestly, I was doing my research make sure you do your research guys because that is the biggest thing I could have gone with a tar amp i could have gone with another tempano amp i could have even gone with marsh digital i could have gone with um stetsum but i could have gone with a uh, audio pipe but i wanted to try something new because uh i saw this sub i'm mean, not sub for sorry amplifier and it was three it was 299 dollars on amazon and i was like what the hell and so i looked at the reviews and the reviews were pretty good guys um so I, I really wanted to try it for uh, for myself and give us uh, give you an honest review because I've not seen this amplifier on YouTube. I, I tried my best. I looked around all all over, but I could not find this specific one on YouTube. So um, Gravity, I mean, they're an okay brand. I would not buy one of their subwoofers unless you're talking about their like G7s because the ones they're not the best. And uh, I know they have a really bad reputation of overrating stuff but this this is a little bit different guys and um i want to prove it and we'll find actually we'll just find out if it's different um based on the reviews they say that this thing can actually do the 5000 watts rms and i'm really excited to get to that but enough of me rambling on i know you don't want to hear me so let's just get into the specs of this so basically uh, you want to have your voltage not drop below 11 volts. Otherwise, this thing will be in protect mode and not go above 15. Um, it is 5,000 watts RMS at 1 ohm. And uh, I'm going to have to look in the manual for the 2 ohm and 4 ohm um, ratings. I think it's like 3,000 watts at 2 ohms and like 2,000 at 4 ohms. But don't quote me on that. Okay, so basically frequency response 20 hertz to 20k hertz. Now this is a full, uh, it is a full amplifier, like full uh, bridge amp or whatever, and uh, you can actually hook up speakers to this. But I'm going to be using subwoofers, so we got to tune it, the high pass and low pass filters. That's basically it on the on the little on the box itself. It comes with a bass knob, and I will not be using the bass knob. I don't really trust. I don't really trust bass knobs from companies. I'd rather. I actually purchased a um, a custom bass knob from. Uh, uh, Smash Panda and uh, it'll be getting here shortly and that's the one I'll be using for this uh, amplifier and yeah let's speaking of let's just get it out of the box and take a look at it I got my tape measure right here because they did not have the dimensions of the amplifier on the website and so if any of you are interested I'm gonna be doing that too all right guys so here's the manual we're gonna put that to the side we'll look at that in a second and here's the uh, amp the amp is a lot bigger than I than I pictured. So let me get this, it's pretty heavy, so let me get it out. All right guys, taking it out, the little wrapping right now in the box. This thing is a lot, it's not a lot bigger than I thought, but it's it's pretty it's pretty beefy. It's bigger than the 3K that I had, um, the Tempano 3K. And let's take a look right here. Okay, this, guys, this is what I really like to see. So we have two slots, zero gauge wire for, uh, for positive and negative two of them which is really good to help with the voltage and we have one remote wire right there so i that was a really big um big thing when i was looking at amps i really wanted them to have two on each because i want to have as much power go into this amplifier as i can and we have actually have two fans right here one right there one right there also really nice to see uh so far gravity has been gravity has been doing pretty well so let's look at the other side, shall we? So we have a uh, four speaker um, uh, term or like inserts that you can put the wire in. I wish they were, I wish they were bigger, but um, it is a full range amplifier. So I mean, I guess it's for speaker wire. 
but I mean, I guess it's okay for what I have right now because I don't have four gauge. Um, I don't have four gauge wire for my subwoofer, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we have the remote right there, and then we have high pass filter, low pass filter, gain, and bass boost. I never use I never use bass boost. I'm gonna set my gains when I uh, put this thing in the car. Uh, low pass filter and high pass filter. You can mimic a sub, uh, subsonic filter if you set them correctly. Um, so that's what I'm also gonna be doing because I do not want to blow or uh, tear out a spider in my subs because if this thing actually really does push 5,000 watts, it can most definitely happen. Uh, one pair of RCA inputs. I do like to see that so no one gets confused. And yeah, we have some vents right here and right there for the um, for the inside airflow. And we have vents down here. I bet you we have vents over here too. Yep, down there. I really like to see that, guys. So far, this thing, this thing is looking pretty promising. We have the four um, screw points: one, two, three, and four. And it actually did come with um, some screws. And so. I'll be hooking this up. Stay tuned, guys, because you will get a demo um, of this amplifier. And yeah, let's just go through the manual real quick and check out what that has. All right, guys, a little bit about this line. So we have the, there are four amplifiers in this line, apparently. So the E1500 uh, at 1 ohm, E3000 um, uh, at 1 ohm, E5000, and E7500. Um, I looked at the 7500. It was like 450 bucks. I'll pop it up on the screen right now. Honestly, it was looked like a pretty good deal. Um, we'll see. Uh, let's uh, let's go to the actual um, the actual specs for this thing. So let's do that. You know what, guys? I actually like this. They have the 15, the 3000, 5000, and 7500. So we what we have is the 5000 watt amp. So let's just look at this. So. Um, at one ohm to distortion or one percent distortion is 5,000 watts RMS. At two ohms, um, 2,964. Four ohms, uh, 1,681. And guys, I actually really do like seeing that. This th this shows that they're actually not making up numbers. I'm, I bet you that this is the exact numbers that the um, machine gave. Uh, that this amp actually gave to the uh, um, amp dyno and I do like to see that because this company has been known for um, overrating their stuff but I had a feeling I had, based on the reviews that they wasn't the case for this thing and I'll let you know when I get this thing hooked up and I'll be pretty upset or pretty happy when I when I hook it up make sure you tune your amps correctly guys so you don't damage any equipment but yeah, that's that's all that's here for the 5000 um, E5000. Let's look at the base knob real quick because I got this thing out. So basically, it's just a little cheap base knob. It has clip and power. I'm not sure how um, effective this clip meter is, but I mean, I guess I'll poke it up and see and find out. But yeah, next let's just get these uh, dimensions. I guess I said I would do it, so let's do it. So I'm going from this speaker terminal to the next speaker terminal. It looks like it's about one foot, so that's good. And um, let's see, we have, we are reading about eight inches for the, so length is about 12 inches, width is about um, uh, eight inches. Let's look at the height. So height, we are reading about three inches which is not bad, not bad. Um, I wanted to share with you the um, dimensions on this thing because it wasn't on the website. And yeah, let's get this thing uh, hooked up to the car. Um, and yeah, let's see how, how powerful it actually is. All right guys, so there's a couple things I have to do before I actually install the gravity. So I got to take out the Sirwin Vega HED. This is what I've been running on for the past, like I'd say a couple weeks. I've been making some uh, shorts with it and some TikToks. It bangs for what it is, it, it really does. Uh, but the thing I need to do is unhook this and uh, have an extra pair of positive and negative running to the amp that I'm about to put in. All right guys, here's what I have so far. I got both negatives right here and both positives. I've zip tied them together, labeled it with a black and with red. 
and so now it's easy when i install the amp and that's what we are going to do next so let's let's get this thing in all right guys got the cell i uh, got the uh, amp hooked up to the car so what we're going to do so i'm going to play a frequency uh test just to see and put this thing in dyno mode just to see how many watts are pushing through and if the ohms are raising and yeah let's just get into it and after that we'll get a couple songs in and yeah then that'll be it for this video so let's get it all right guys, so the gains are all set and now it's time to do some frequency tests. So right now we're gonna do a 30 hertz frequency. All right, let's get it. All right guys, we we got one point, it rose to 1.5 ohms, 3,365 watts, not bad. Um, I am on stock alternator because the guy I'm talking to has not put in the alternator for me. So uh, we're just going to have to do it on stock alternator. So we're at 13.45 right now. If it was at like 14 point something, we probably could have gotten a way higher number. But with what I have right now, it's all that I can do. And I got to get this video out. All right, let's do 40 hertz. All right, guys, let's do 40 hertz. Here it is. Right, guys we uh it was a lot louder that time but we rose up to 1.9 ohms and 2765 watts but actually the two ohm uh rating for this thing is 2900 so i mean if we were at 14.4 we could have i bet you we could have gotten that rating at two ohms uh let's do a 45 hertz and then get to this um music all right guys 45 hertz let's do it We rose up to 2.2 .2 ohms, 2400 watts. Alright guys, let's just get into music and see what this thing can do with music. bit of a music demo i honestly think it can do rate of power at one ohm but my ohms are just rising so so much that um i don't know what to do because these subs are hooked up to one ohm and if you have any opinions in the comments leave it in the comments uh also stereo mojo shout out to him i'm gonna lend this uh amplifier to him so he could do a um amp dyno with it so if you are uh, if you want to know what this thing can do on an amp dyno, stay tuned to his channel. I'm also going to re be reviewing one of his 2000 watt amplifiers. Um, so stay tuned for that as well. Uh, so far, I actually been really enjoying the gravity. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments. And yeah, I keep it honest here. And uh, for $299, it's not bad. For real it's not bad um but yeah if you want to purchase one for yourself i'll leave a link in the description i'm not sponsored or anything just if you want to but yeah if you like this video like comment subscribe and guys i'll see you in the next one stay tuned i got a lot planned for the channel so stay tuned for that peace